Hello, my name is Jake, and today I have another scripting thing for you. Today I'm going to be focusing on AND gates. AND gates are using two inputs for one output. So let's start with this one here. Basically, you can activate uh, one switch, but that doesn't do anything, right? But once you have both switches activated, your door activates. So that's that could work just any... Any timing, this one's just simple 2-1 with two switches, all right? Over here, we have one with four switches. Now, this will work with, uh, with basically as many switches you want, and you could make it so you have to have a specific order to activate these to open the door, but in this case, I just have it so you can activate them in any order. You just have to activate all of them. So here, I could go to this one. I go to this one and this one here and then our door opens like that so that one's another just simple one and then this one is a bit special this one is set up so for uh, so basically imagine this you have uh, imagine these are more apart thank you for sending me a party invite during a video you will be you will be shown remember this days my fault for not turning off notifications. Anyway, imagine we have this switch here and this switch here, and imagine they're farther apart. Basically, how it's set up is that after a few seconds, the switch deactivates itself again. So after I have it set for five seconds right now, and the same goes for this one. And as you see, I've already activated both, and it hasn't opened yet. Because what you have to do is you have to activate them both within a certain time limit for them for the door to open so basically what you could do is you could have two of these from a certain distance apart where you have to require two people to activate it at the same time like imagine like the nuke switch where like two people have to use their keys and turn them at the same time to open the thing to press the button you know like in the in the movies for the like presidential presidential nuke switch or whatever so because i'm doing it this demo by myself obviously i have to put a high time on them so that I can open it. So basically you do it quick enough here, the door opens. So now it's time to show you how to do this in Forge. Okay, so here we are in Forge and let's begin with the simple AND gate. This one only is, requires two switches and I'll explain how this works. To start with, you have a switch on. This switch on must be have a broadcast channel of, let's just go with zero. And then this one has a broadcast channel of one. So what you have to do is then put in a timer on once. This timer on once must be place it start false, candy spawn true. And this is the part that allows these two switches to activate this right here. The In the scripting, you have to have one of your switches broadcast channels needs to be the spawn channel of the timer on once. <clears throat> and then your other switch's broadcast channel has to become the power channel of the timer on once. So what happens is one of them spawns it and one of it powers it, so basically you have to have both on in order to make this activate. And then you simply have whatever this activates on the same broadcast channel. So you could use this to spawn in a bridge, open the door, and make an explosion doesn't matter it really you can use the this very simple concept to do all sorts of crazy things it's especially helpful for puzzle makers so over here we have one with just more switches and same thing applies you basically are taking two of these and putting them together so what you do is i will throw one yeah, broadcast channel 3, broadcast channel 4, broadcast channel 5, and broadcast channel 6 here. And then you have the ti uh, timer on once here, which links together these two right here. So you have spawn channel 3 and power channel 4. And this has a broadcast channel of 7. And also make sure your this timer on once is placed at start false and candy spawn true. What this does is it allows 
this timer on once here. These spawn it in and then power it. And the same occurs here with 5 and 6, so that the spawn channel is 5 and the power channel is 6. And then you have broadcast channel 8. So now you have two of these, and you're basically just making another one of these AND gates using the AND gates. So you have broadcast channel 7 and broadcast channel 8. And then this timer on once needs to be placed at start false candy spawn true and then you need spawn channel 7 power channel 8 because then these two switches power and spawn in this timer on and then your broadcast channel is 9 and that activates your final thing now a cool thing with this and the same with this is you could make it so you have to activate these switches in a particular order so how you would do that is you would have whatever broadcast channel this one is you can make it so say broadcast channel 3 goes into the power channel of this one so that would require you to activate that one before that one so like imagine 3 here 3 then I can activate this one but I can't activate this one yet because I haven't activated that one yet and then you could do the 3 to 4 and then 4 to 5 5 to 6 and then you could just rearrange the the things in however or whatever order you want and that's how you would do that so over here now this is the presidential nuke switch kind of thing is what I call it something like that and now this is a more of a thing for multiplayer like maybe someone has a cooperative puzzle or something where it takes two people in their puzzle map I've seen that before and so over here we got it like that and basically how this works is you're creating an AND gate like this, but what you do first is, let's just use the scripting in order. We have broadcast channel 10 on this one, and this one is broadcast channel 11. Let's pull this out a little bit. Yep, broadcast channel 11. So then basically you have these timer offs that switch off their thing. You probably want to do this for around like two seconds, maybe one for your actual thing. So I'll just put it on two for now. And that will allow it so that it will turn itself off. See, like that, and then one, two, gone. Like, or even one if you want to get really precise. So that you have to activate these at the exact same time. So um, this is a bit, a bit of leeway. Or you can make it so you have to activate a switch and then you only have a certain time limit to activate the other one Otherwise, your thing won't work. Either way, same thing applies. Then up here, what you have is basically an AND gate thing from like any one of these ones. So you have power channel 11, spawn channel 10, candy spawn true, place it start false, and then your broadcast channel of 12. And that will activate your gate here. Now that's so that's what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later.